Howdy y'all, welcome to Nerd Studio. We're out at the range today with the Ruger Blackhawk, chambered in 357, 38 of course, and 9mm. Stay tuned. So if you're not familiar, the uh, the Black Hawk is a cowboy gun. <laughs> so it is a, a single action only revolver, which means you pull the trigger and it does nothing until you pull back the hammer. Right? Uh, the, these guns, of course, the cylinder doesn't pop out. You've got a loading gate. Hopefully you can see that. And uh, so you load the the bullets down inside the cylinder, then flip the loading gate shut, and you're cocked a hammer and you're ready to shoot. This model is the four and five eighths inch uh, in uh, stainless. It's got adjustable sights. Uh, my one uh, sort of um, you know, give to modern day. Um, I'm not really a revolver guy. I'm a, I'm a semi-auto pistol person. But you know, I just I wanted one. <laughs> I'm not uh, going out and joining any uh, cowboy action competitions, nothing like that. The reason I got this model is because of this. This is a 9mm cylinder. So I can drop this in and shoot 9mm, the same thing I uh, load my carry guns. But this is nice. It shoots 38, shoots 357 and 9. And it is stamped 357. Boy, is it made to shoot that 357. These guns are really heavy. Uh, it's an, you know, it's all steel gun. And uh, it's got all of the offset to that big jump from the 357. So how this works, we're going to hold on here. Stay with me. We're going to change the cylinder out and shoot some 9. So right now we've got the 357 38 in there. It's a little button right here. You mash that. And boy, we've been shooting it. This gun is hot. And you pull this pin up here. Kind of hard to show you on camera and it's pretty sticky because we got it gummed up pretty good you pull that guy out open the loading gate and the cylinder drops right out like that and just the reverse pop the cylinder in take your rod drop it in there push that button and you just gotta kind of work it to line it all up like that. And now you're ready to shoot nine millimeter. Okay, so we drop our nine mil in there. Oop, make sure I'm getting in the camera lens. This goes a lot faster when I'm not trying to show you all. There we go, nine millimeter. Little hollow points here. Oh. And we're ready. I short stroked it. I think I skipped a cylinder there. Yep, sure did. Uh -huh. I short struck it. There's that last round. So in loading it, you open the gate. Sometimes the rounds will fall out, but most uh, brass tends to swell inside here. So basically you just push down and that guy comes and they pop out like that. This is really good brass though, so I'm not gonna lose it. So I have little, uh, well, really little to no experience. Uh, probably more like no experience shooting this kind of gun. I know the basic grip, um, getting high up on it. You're actually a thumbs over grip here 
like that on uh, on a revolver, uh, particularly this kind, you want to sort of ride. It has that curved uh, grip to it, so you kind of want to ride these up. However, uh, even with the 357, there's not much to actually ride up on. Bob has some brought some really hot lo uh, loads out, and the gun just I mean, it's built to shoot that 357. You're not going to get much of a kick out of this because um, the thing's a, a big old piece of steel. Um, now, you know, of course, it is a cowboy gun, so you could do all that fanning stuff. But uh, this has a, a ridged hammer and not really made for fanning. Uh, I would guess you'd probably do it about the third time and dig a big hole in your hand. So we're not going to be doing that with this gun. I did try it, like, up against the berm just to see if I could do it. Uh, yeah, you could do it, but... Uh, You'd feel that hammer pretty quick. So not really designed for that. Um, I, I don't know. This is just a fun gun. Not really uh, anything serious to it. Gives me a chance in when I teach concealed carry to talk about a uh, single action only and, and really how it loads and how it works. And then uh, we're having a really good time shooting it. In fact, we've shot so much the thing is smoking hot. Um, you can hold the trigger back and then pull and drop the hammer. With a little practice, I could see you actually trying to, uh, actually getting some speed out of it. But, um, uh, you know, it's not like I'm carrying the thing for self-defense. I'll try it here for you. Uh, don't expect me to hit much, but uh, just to kind of show you what that looks like. Yeah, not going to any uh, cowboy action competitions anytime soon. <laughs> but it's fun. You get some uh, a chance to pretend you're white art for a few minutes. So there you go, the Ruger Blackhawk chambered in 357 Magnum with the uh, 9mm cylinder. A lot of fun, no real practical use, but man, it's a kick in the pants to shoot. The gun's really accurate. I don't know about the shooters today, but the gun is really accurate. I keep spinning the... Zzz, that's really neat sounding. Um, if you haven't noticed or you haven't heard, uh, I my channel's been demonetized on YouTube, and I've got uh, one strike against me. I'm expecting any time now to get the other two strikes, and have all my content taken down. So if you're watching this on YouTube, go over to gunstreamer.com. Uh, as you can imagine, I have no risk of actually getting uh, kicked off of that channel <laughs> or off of that, that service. So gunstreamer.com, I'll put a link in the description below, but you'll find uh, all my videos there if YouTube takes me down. So um, not, not really any way to offset my costs there. They're not uh, really doing... Uh, any uh, revenue sharing, but uh, so I'll slow down probably putting videos up. Uh, as you've noticed, I really haven't been doing a lot lately anyway. So gunstreamer.com, check out the link in the description below and the Ruger Blackhawk in 357. All right, folks, always remember anyone could shoot, anyone could shoot and have fun. We'll see you next time. As I walk down in the streets of Laredo
As I walked out in Laredo one day, I spied a young cowboy wrapped up in white rain. Shucks, I wouldn't put it on unless I was good at it. You see, single action means like, unless you have the model revolver, they can fire this way by just pressing a trigger. With the old-fashioned Western gun, you had to cock the gun first and then fire. So that, in essence, when you go for the fast draw, the gun is actually cocked while it's in the holster, like so. See, it's cocked here. You pull out and then fire. Of course, you must be careful that when you do this, you don't do that. Well, you'll find out immediately why Chester walks with a limp. 